Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're doing a video, a theory video, in fact, on The Flash Season 5, mainly to do with Godspeed and Future Cicada, that being Grace. So we've got some theories to talk about. This is going to be maybe a little bit confusing for some of you, so maybe, you know, pause between every few sentences and sort of just think about it, or maybe you have to watch it again. I don't know, but some of you may get it just straight away, but... Alright, so we've got some theories to go through as to, you know, are they from another timeline? That's like the main theory. And so, yeah. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. So, you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So, Future Cicada, that being Grace, shouldn't theoretically exist anymore. If you remember last episode... It was said that she actually works with future Orlan in the future, but by killing him last episode, as we saw, the original Cicada died. If we follow the rules of time travel, she should be erased. And that is for certain, 100% she should be erased. So this could be a continuity error in terms of time traveling, like they do many times. Or are they actually being smart? Is she from another timeline and this doesn't actually affect her but I don't know I feel like it's probably more to do with a continuity error because at least this version would never have existed and Grace would be completely different and you know the future version of Grace if she ever wakes up in this version of the timeline would in fact be very different because Orlin wouldn't be with her and although she has you know the feelings of anger and hatred as Cecile has been saying recently in her head right now and obviously when she wakes up maybe to find Orlan you know obviously dead because this future version of Grace killed him so she would be alone she would be different and basically this version that we're seeing would cease to exist and so let's move on to the Godspeed part of the theory so this does link into Grace's cicada which we'll talk about in a sec so my main question I want to ask is potentially could Godspeed be from future Cicada's timeline? Could he be from another timeline? Whatever that timeline is. And we don't know for certain if they are from this specific timeline that they've just been, you know, put in due to the timeline changes. Or were they always supposed to be there? Or is it only this specific timeline that they appear? So it's presumably not the one that Thorn and Aura are seeing, you know, from 2049 as they're looking back. Because our past Cicada was still at large, if you remember through the little glimpses in the future we know that this cicada reigns on and he goes on and kills people and in the flash museum the hall of villains you get to see the male cicada and he's still at large in the future so with the timeline changing in that last few episodes or so with this future version of grace coming everything has changed the timeline 100 percent has changed they've stated that but according to her and this is sort of like her idea of the future she believes that metas are a plague and they are left unchecked in the future still and obviously you know this whole season it's massively ironic because you know they are metahumans and i'm talking about the cicadas here but she actually believes that and she sort of follows the same idea of what her uncle actually used to believe and so Godspeed in the comics, he kills speedsters, and we know in the TV show he's going to kill a speedster called Leah. She's actually the Earth-9 Flash from the comics, so he's doing the same thing. He's killing speedsters, and in the comics he does it to take away their powers, so there was the Speed Force Storm, loads of new speedsters were created, and he goes around and kills basically everyone, apart from Barry and a couple of other people, as far as I can remember. I haven't read it in quite a while now, and... So he tries to take away their powers, but in the same time he kills them, and he becomes the most powerful speedster, and that's what he's trying to achieve. So I'm guessing it's going to be very similar on the TV show in some way. Obviously, they'll twist it to their own needs, and hopefully Godspeed's not just like a glorified cameo. Hopefully he sticks around. That would be amazing. And so all of this is very, very similar to Cicada's plan. So both versions of Cicada I'm talking about, but mainly to do with Grace. So the motivations are very similar. So she wants to get rid of all of the matters. So it's sort of like a wider scale of what Godspeed wants to do. Godspeed wants to kill all the speedsters, but it's a similar ideology. So you would see how they could potentially work together because 
I would say it's a pretty, you know, logical team up. And so what if they are actually working together? I would say that's, you know, very plausible and I think I would really like to see that to sort of link it all back in together and then, you know, maybe Godspeed overpowers when Cicada's defeated and then Godspeed becomes the season 6 villain or something like that. And so we know the time sphere cannot be sent back in time without a speedster helping. That's been established in the past and this last episode we saw the time sphere it was back in the past, well, in our present day, but the past for future grace. And she has come, and we haven't seen how she actually got here, but apart from there is the same version of the Time Sphere, we won't talk about, like, how in, how on earth she actually found out about that and, you know, actually got it in the first place, because I think that's just sort of like a plot hole that we don't need to go down. But, yeah, it's been established in the TV show that we know of. The time sphere cannot be operated without the help of the speedster actually sending them through the time stream or, you know, whatever we call it. I've kind of forgot the specific name, but so it seems like she would have help from a speedster if they are following the rules that they have set and created on the TV show. Again, it could be just a whole massive plot hole that maybe she can just go by herself and she can just, you know, time travel by herself in the time sphere, but. If you remember back to the end of season one when Reverse Flash used it, Barry actually had to help Thorn to get, you know, through to time travel and so that's how it all went and it obviously didn't turn out very well in season one but it's happened many times and so it makes sense that she would be working with Godspeed, that's what I'm essentially, you know, getting at. And so maybe with the massive timeline changes that we've been experiencing in the last few episodes with even Thorne not being able to predict how things are changing and, you know, he's not even able to properly control it as he thought he could. So, Nora's past has been changed and this future Cicada has come, but also Godspeed has come. So, is it due to this timeline changes, Nora will slowly sort of remember these different events that she actually didn't experience in this normal version of Nora's life so things are slowly altering for her and so is this future fight scene between her and Godspeed something that was never supposed to happen so now in her past she met Godspeed she fought Godspeed this Leah person dies and Godspeed actually turned up but he was actually never mentioned in the old timelines flash museum so I think that's very interesting that the Hall of Villains wouldn't include someone like Godspeed who obviously would be a massive threat if, you know, he existed. So presumably he didn't exist or he wasn't that big. And so for this video, for the sake of it, I'm going to say he didn't exist. And so now in this new version, because he was never supposed to come, he turns up and Nora's past has actually been changed and she remembers things like this and maybe due to the timeline changes, you know, Godspeed and this future Cicada that Thorn and Nora had no idea existed, he was plopped in as well, and so they're working together, but he goes back in time to kill Leah, and also at the same time to kill Nora, presumably like at the sort of heightened start of her powers when she first, you know, was able to use her powers, because from the behind the scenes photos, we see she's just got her gauntlets on, but then she's just got a tracksuit on, so she doesn't have any suit by this point, and I'm guessing she probably knows Leah, she maybe works with her, and maybe Leah is like her mentor of sorts, because she seems utterly distraught in that trailer when Godspeed is essentially killing Leah, that's what we know from the behind the scenes looks. So, was he never supposed to come, or was he supposed to come in the future? but it just happened to be that he came early because of these new timeline changes. So, is he from a different timeline? Could he be from that same timeline as future Cicada, that being Grace? Because Thorn was not able to predict this, and Thorn obviously had no idea about Grace being Cicada in the future, so it's something different. So I think the idea of those two actually working together is very plausible, and I think the idea of them being from a different timeline, you know, coming to this timeline, makes a lot of sense, and I think it could work, but also at the same time, it may be a little far-fetched. So what do you think about this theory? Do you think I'm going crazy? I 
have seen some similar comments online, so I know I'm not alone in thinking about this. So hopefully I've articulated what I was trying to get across. Sorry if it's a little bit confusing. I know some theory videos can be because, you know, it's a lot of just repeating or saying very similar words to get a different point around because the theories are a little bit confusing because, you know, it's something that we can't imagine in our real life. It's very, very abstract, so it's kind of hard to articulate, but Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, also subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos, and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show to stay up to date with me. So that's it, and I will see you guys later, goodbye.